Saint Saint Theophan the Recluse. In today's commentary, pays special attention to the dialogue between the disciples and Christ. Here, thousands of people were listening to Christ for a long time. And it was coming to the end of the day, and the disciples were worried about these people because they were in a deserted place. Back then, people didn't have coolers to take food with them. They didn't have bottled water like we have. And so, when people traveled from place to place, they were very limited on not only the distance they went, but the time that it took to get to their destination. And so the disciples were worried that these people, having spent much of the day listening to Christ, would not have the strength, because of lack of food and drink, to return to their homes safely. They were worried very much about their physical safety. And our Lord said, why should we send them back? You take care of them. St. Theophan the Recluse says that our Lord Jesus Christ, in, in offering His teachings and healing many people at, in this, at this occasion, cared very much for their spiritual health. And He wanted to continue to nourish them. And that's why He told the disciples not to dismiss them. And our Lord, by feeding them, fed them not only physically, but nourished them spiritually. Because the disciples and people close around saw this great miracle. St. Theophan the Recluse says that many times in life we encounter similar circumstances. We listen we listened to temptations from the devil who says, you shouldn't do this because of the physical demands on yourself. Put this off until later because your health requires it. How true that can be. All of us can find many reasons why we shouldn't fast. We can find even more reasons why we shouldn't gather the physical strength to say our prayers every morning and every night. And the list of reasons why we don't have to come to church every Sunday is even longer. The last six days I slept only five hours a night. I need to get some kind of sleep because Monday I have an important day. Much is demanded from me. We all know the reasons. We all know the excuses. And today's dialogue between the disciples and Christ, St. Theophan the Recluse tells us, is a lesson for us not to give in to these thoughts and to these temptations. Because whenever we approach our Lord, He nourishes us. Nourishes us spiritually and physically. He nourishes us by sending down His grace every time we pray. And He strengthens and fortifies us even when we abstain from food. We become physically stronger. Sure, after a lengthy length, Lenten period, we feel physically weakened. But in the end, we are stronger because our discipline has been focused and our faith has been strengthened. Even medicine, even medicine has demonstrated from time to time that fasting is healthy. The Heart Association even recommends that we abstain from meats and dairy at least twice a week. Church has been telling this, us, telling this to us for thousands of years. 
So brothers and sisters, always remember, we should always remember that when we run and approach our Lord, He wants to nourish us. He wants to strengthen us. And at times when our physical strength may be failing, or we may be lazy and tired, when we show an effort, our Lord rewards us. The disciples didn't doubt our Lord's command, but listened to them, listened to Him, and commanded that all the people sit down and wait for the blessing of our Lord. And they blessed, and He blessed them abundantly. Probably none of the disciples expected to take up so many baskets of extra bread and fish. And so too, when we show effort, when we demonstrate faith and trust in God, even when our physical strength escapes us, our Lord will bless us. And quite possibly, the blessings that we receive will be far greater than we ever, ever anticipated. Because our Lord comes to nourish us and strengthen us, not just physically, but spiritually, so that we can find the strength to show patience, so, so that we can find the strength to, to forgive one another, so that we can show mercy and compassion, so that we may be willing to sacrifice our time and resources for the sake of those in need, so that we may find the strength and the fortitude to trust in God's will no matter what circumstances we encounter in life. All these circumstances likewise require great strength, but spiritual strength. And every time we run to our Lord, He comes to approach us and to nourish us so that we may take upon ourselves these difficulties with His help. So brothers and sisters, when we hear our Lord calling, let us always run to Him. Let us run and follow the commands of our Lord and the teachings of the Holy Church. And though things from time to time may require much physical strength from us, let us always know that we run to our Lord also for spiritual nourishment that will fortify us completely, both body and soul. Amen.